Hi everybody. Here's a speed through for the recycled bottle dome we did for winter hashtag love winter art. I'm sorry about that. Um, this was a last minute project and um, it lasted an hour and I figured let me just come by and do a, a dubbed basically dubbing my voice and uh, going through a speed through uh, for those people who only have 15 minutes so basically what we have here that you see is a, a bottle from the dollar store and then styrofoam that's been around forever some reindeers and a recycled um, thread holder and then those little glass balls that you've seen there were from a light bulb from the Christmas tree light bulbs from the Christmas tree and then we have some tool and I don't know what the other stuff is called I've been told and I already forgot <laughs> sorry Callie so we're just going to cut the bottom off I suggest you start it with an X-Acto knife and then come back with just some regular old scissors and also a suggestion um, is to make a straight line if you care to I did not care to make a straight line. I'm having my coffee here while doing the voiceover and watching the speed through with you guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just cutting the bottom. Um, sandpaper can be used. I'm not that kind of crafter or artist. I'm very uh, freeform with everything. Now we're going to cut the top off and I will be getting off camera for a second. Well, actually for quite a few minutes taking off that top was quite hard. There's a glass dome that you see up there. A little brown ball. I just moved it away and then I can't find it later on. I decided to trim it down. It was too tall for my liking so I, I did trim it down. I did find the scissors eventually and I do like it to be short and there's that glass dome and that was taken off of uh, Christmas lights for patio lights. And there I'm just adding a uh, I'm burning it with lighter. Uh, if you're under the age of 18, please ask for permission from a parent. Um, the reason I'm doing this is just to have the plastic fold over itself and make it look more like glass, like it's hand blown glass. And it actually did. But then I end up covering it later. You'll see. And here's me straightening out the bottom. Yeah, that's the way I do just felt right and then here's me gessoing uh, the styrofoam the only reason I gesso the styrofoam was just in case if I wanted to paint it it would already have a layer of something there instead of it sucking the paint away over and over and over so we're gonna set that aside then we're gonna paint up the little reindeers and the little rabbit what else do we paint up we end up painting up the thread bobbin. We end up um, gessoing it also. Then I get off uh, the camera and let it dry up. <clears throat> this project was um, put together between uh, a collaboration between the Junk and Data Girl uh, Audie G Arts and uh, Mark Muir, and I have all of the. I'll have all the links down below, and they have their domes also. So it's a collaboration slash hashtag event for us. Um, this project w was in mind for quite some time, but I did not have a soda bottle, so. The day I got the soda bottle is the day the hashtag needed to be out. And actually it was the second day that the hashtag needed to be out. So I was kind of rushed. But I ended up liking the way it came out. Yes, I would have liked to have had more time. Maybe on the second one. These domes can be all year long with different themes inside is what I like about it. Um, Callie Black did tell me what this material was called. But I actually forgot again. 
I'm not even sure. But um, I ran it through a sewing machine many, 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 many years ago. Don't know why I did that. And it just it's, it stuck around. It was on top of my sewing machine and I seen it and I said, hey, I'm going to use that. And I'm actually glad I did sew around it. It, it is cute. I do like it that way. So we're just going to go around and around with the glue gun uh, until it forms a tree. And me um, particularly, I did have in mind to purchase a little tree and bleach it out and do all the cutesy stuff to it. Could not find a, a little Christmas trees for the life of me. So we made one up and I'm glad we did because I experienced... I experienced this feeling that I, of having to be inspired, of having to push my thoughts and having to push uh, the limits of what can I do, what can I use, what can I do, what's around the house. And I love it. I love that feeling. I don't like it at the beginning, but eventually when I get into it, it's like, yes, the creativity just sparks, the creativity just flows, it comes out and you end up creating some amazing stuff out of out of the what the am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah, um, I would have liked to have added some glitter and probably cut up that tool fabric that I'm using right there. I, I think it's a streamer. I don't know what that stuff is called. I'd have to go back and look. And right now I can't because I'm actually using Movie Maker. So that fab, that stuff you see right there, that green stuff, the teal stuff, the minty green stuff, I would have liked to have cut it up um, after, you know, right there. Like right there I should have grabbed the scissors and chopped it up and made it look more uh, like leaves maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking I should have, but who knows if I even would have liked it that way. And then I'm going to... I was thinking of adding the tool. I did this too tight. I do suggest that you guys leave some more space and do it more loose than I did. It's my first time. It was a learning experience for me. Uh, those beads have been altered. They were all gold, and then I just ran them through some mint. They were not supposed to be for the Christmas tree. They were supposed to go around the dome but I ended up sticking them in the Christmas tree and I like it I really do I would have preferred for them not to be matchy matchy but they were and and it worked out it all really did work out I would have liked to have added some glitter also but I was really really was um, desperate for time and desperate to get this video out for you guys Taking a drink of my coffee. So, I decided to add uh, the tool to the bottom. <clears throat> I do it in a very, very, very messy way. A messy, the word messy for me, guys, is not a bad thing. I like it. I really do like it. Uh, it's organic, I should say. It's very organic. And then I had some tool just laying around, so I picked it up and started placing it there. And that's what I'm saying, that's what I love, is not knowing where you're going, pushing your thoughts, pushing your creativity to to get something done that you know needs to be done. Um, if you guys want a slower video, or slower version, it'll be the one before this, where I talk through the whole thing in real time. And here we're just going to um, look for some glue. I found some glue. Put on the glue. I wish I would have just put the glue in a jar or a bowl and dipped the little creature into the glue and went for it because this took too long. But it's a learning experience. The next time I know better, I will just fill up a little bowl with glue and dip in and out that's what I'll do next time because uh, this process took way too long so that's why I figured also let's do a voiceover in a speed through because the other one there's things that I could have done 
to make the process go faster, but I'm very much um, appreciate the company that I keep some people. Um, but I do understand that some people are, are in a hurry and they just want to learn the project and get done with it, be inspired and continue. I so understand. Yeah. So I do suggest you, you get your glue, put it in a bowl, um, dip your little plastic figures into that glue, bring it out, glitter it up, and move on to the next one. Funny thing is that I was having a hard time squeezing the bottle, the glue out of the bottle, and then when I opened it, I realized that it had one of those stoppers in it. But I guess I managed to squeeze so hard that it popped a little hole in the paper stopper that was in between the bottle and the um, squeezing part. You kind of see where I'm heading right here, where I'm kind of just trying to glop the glue on and trying to get it on way faster than this. We manage. In, in, the, in the end, it all came out really sweet and cute. I still, till, till this day, I know that the hashtag is over. I still need to take pictures of the item and, and fix my thumbnail. Um, that little pink guy that you just seen me do before this gold glitter, he ended up being purple. I kind of messed up on the second layer of glitter, and instead of putting him putting a second layer of pink I ended up putting a second layer of purple but he ended up cute anyways here we're adding some glue inside the dome actually not the dome but the the little uh, that right there that's gonna go on top of the dome the accent we're adding some glue some water and uh, custom mixed glitter mixing it around letting some pour out and then we're just, I think we're going to glue it on right now. Yeah, we glued it on. And it's, it did dry clear, and it's very, very pretty and glittery. <clears throat> and let's put on the styrofoam onto that glass piece. Really, it did look straight to me. But now that I look at the video, it's not straight. But that's okay! And we're just going to place the Christmas tree in the middle, because then I realized that that bottle is actually very small. I'm showing you guys the white parts where I had to um, give the deers and the hair an extra coat of glitter and here I'm just going see this is where I said where I ended up covering up the melted part that we did. I just felt like I needed some more. My mind was racing 100 miles per hour at this time and uh, my creativity was like going crazy and I just added some more of these more embellishments okay also af off camera I added tool all the way around because the bottle is way small you see and the tool did help out so now we're gonna place these guys see here there's the purple deer he was pink and now he's purple and we're going to come, be coming to an end very soon. And we're just going to squeeze all these guys in here as close as possible to the tree. I would have liked them more spread out, but it's okay. The next one. Uh, my daughter did take this into her room and she has confiscated it. It is now hers. So I really enjoyed having to push myself and um, take take it for what it is and, you know, ride along with it and, and be creative for yourself. If you don't have what the things that you think you need, just experiment. And I had a blast. Please like, please subscribe, please share with your friends and make this party a bigger party. and. Be very creative with each other and leave each other comments. If you like these kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up so that I can continue. Thank you guys and have a very, very Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.